Welcome to Thought for March the 26th. Our readings are Numbers chapter 7, Proverbs chapter 4, and Luke chapter 18. And our thought is, hold fast my words. We hear by reading what God has caused to be written, preserved, and translated. The challenge to all of us is to read and then accept into our hearts what we read, so that they become a real influence on the principles by which we guide our lives. Solomon writes in Proverbs chapter 4, Let your heart hold fast my words. This is the vital next stage after we accept them. The first verse tells us that these are a father's instruction on what the acceptance of his words should lead to. Keep my commandments and live, he says in verse 4. And whatever you get, get insight. Verse 7. We must develop inward vision so that we can reflect on what we have accepted, comparing Scripture with Scripture, so that our understanding becomes increasingly greater. After saying, get insight, Solomon adds, prize her highly, and she will exalt you, she will honour you, if you embrace her. She will place on your head a graceful garland. She will bestow on you a beautiful crown. Verses 8 and 9. This is poetic language, but it has a substantial literal meaning. Recall the thoughts we developed two days ago on the eyes of our hearts. In our Luke chapter 18 reading, Jesus makes the point that his followers must have the attitude of children. For when his disciples tried to stop adults bringing children to him, that he might touch them, Jesus said, Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them. For to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. Verses 15 to 17. As we read God's word, we must have a childlike attitude to hear and then accept the words we read, and then we will have treasures in heaven. Jesus told a ruler, adding, And come, follow me. The very last chapter in the Bible, the final message of Jesus, tells us that when Jesus returns, his treasure will be revealed. For I will be bringing my reward or recompense with me, to repay everyone for what he has done. Revelation 22, verse 12. So we start by hearing, through reading, then accept, then we do what God desires in the way we live, using our individual abilities and opportunities to serve God and his Son, our Saviour, every day. And then the wonder of the time to come, which is getting closer, the divine time of repayment with life in his kingdom on earth. For blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth, says Matthew 5 verse 5. Will you be there? You make the answer now. Thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word, remembering that it is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you.